Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Mega Man 11 playthrough. Last time we took down Acid Man and Impact Man, and now that we have Impact Man's weapon, that means we have Bounce Man's weakness. So, Bounce Man is who we're going to be taking on next. So let's uh, bounce on down to this guy's level. He looks big and bubbly, so I guess it makes no... Um, surprise that um, Impact Man would be his weakness. Uh, but before we get started, I'm actually going to die. Because I only have zero lives, and uh, yeah, I don't think that's a great prospect starting this level with zero lives. So we're going to we're gonna take a death and uh, see if we can get some lives back. That's the one thing I kind of like. I kind of like that there's, like, really no punishment for getting a game over. I mean, you have to restart the whole level, but, you know, you don't lose, like, you know, weapon tanks, E-tanks, any of that stuff. Now, if you use them, yeah, you do lose them, but, like, you know, in this case, like, if you do have some left over, you don't have to worry about, like, wasting them or anything like that. The one thing I kind of wish that this game would have is I wish that, like, uh, much like how there's, like, a... Um, oh shoot, okay, I guess I can't get that. I wanted to get that screw, but unfortunately that screw's kind of uh, out of position there. But I kind of wish that like you could like upgrade the number of lives you start with. I think that would actually be kind of nice if the game would allow that, but unfortunately it doesn't. And I understand why it doesn't, it's just, again, oh shoot, whoops, let's try again, there we go. Um, but yeah, this level has a lot of bouncy uh, obstacles we have to deal with. So, hope you're ready for that. Honestly, conceptually, I do like the way this level looks and feels. Um, the problem is there's a bit of unpredictability at times. And uh, we'll definitely see that kind of get on our nerves a little bit as we go through this. Uh, this little hand obstacle is um, also kind of a pain to deal with. Um, you have to, like... Uh, find the right way to time this. You want to, like, uh, you don't want to just stand still, because if you stand still, you're not going to get, like, the horizontal distance. So it's like, it has to, like, let it strike you, and then... There is also something else we can use. I just don't want to use it, because... I don't want to waste my weapon energy. Especially since it is, you know, the weakness. Why am I not getting this? Okay. See, like, I'm just gonna stand still this time and watch as it doesn't really work. Or it did work. I don't know. It may have been on, like, where I was standing or something. I did, like, a little bit of a practice session, and I remember I had to, like, jump or something to make that work, but... There, for some reason, it didn't matter, but whatever. You know how it is with Let's Plays, you think you have to do it one way, but then, like, it doesn't work for you, and then, like, a different way works. Oh, God. I'm trying not to take too much damage here, but... Oh, oh, come on! See, like, right there it did that, and I was kind of hoping it wouldn't do that. Okay, let's stand on the edge here. Boom. There we go. But, uh, for a level like this, uh, like I mentioned, um... One tool that can actually be pretty good is um, this uh, weapon, which is the uh, weapon that we got from uh, the last boss, Impact Man. Because, uh, yeah, you can do uh, stuff like that to, uh, you know, get some uh, items that might be in a very awkward place like that. Oh, come on! Why am I not getting that? Of course, I don't want to do that too much, because I might need that later on in the level. And it's also, again, the boss's weakness. I'll try one more time, and if I don't get it, I'm just not going to worry about it. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm just going to move on, because I don't want to waste too much of that. We still have the mid-boss to get through as well. Although, I w I'd be using a different thing for the mid-boss anyway. There we go. Sorry, Extra Life. If I would have gotten you, that would have been nice, but unfortunately. 
the game was like, no, you can't have me. A section like this can be pretty irritating. Okay, so if I get this... Yep, that pretty much filled up the pile driver. That's just... that's good. So yeah, this part, don't try to like make too many big jumps because you don't want to hit something and get pushed back. That's something you gotta look out for. This boom. Okay, so for this one, what I think we want to do is we want to hold the jump button when you get launched. That way, yeah, there you go. Okay, so let's switch to block man because once again we have. mid-boss. Let's keep moving. We're now at the halfway point, which is nice. Oh, of course. Wouldn't be a Mega Man game without uh, enemies that pop out of the pit. I think I've said it before. I've always, that's like one of my least favorite parts of Mega Man games. The enemies that pop out of the pits. Because they just kind of like in some respects, it's like they have their own rules. They appear in some pits, but not others. Shoot. Oh, shoot. I didn't realize that was a fake. I wish I was better prepared for those, like, fake eddies or whatever they're called. But again, they just kind of come out of nowhere. And by the time I notice that they're there, it's just, like, too late. They've already made too much progress. I'd like to, like, uh, at some point, like, see if, uh, I can use the, uh, um... Oh, my God. Oh, come on! Uh, I'd like to use, like, the double gears... I feel like the double gears are probably the way to take those guys out. Let's see if they drop anything. Those things didn't drop anything either. Tank. Thank you. Shoot, no. Oh my god. Well, at least I killed that one enemy. That was kind of nice. Ah! I want that E-Tank. <laughs> okay, I see kind of what I have to do. Oh my god! <laughs> I hate these balloons so much. Okay, I have an idea. 
let's just try this. There we go. Woo! Nope. Ah, there we go. My god. Oh, are we at the boss? I, I think so. We'll see. Oh, nope, that's you. Um. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, thank God. I hate that this level's not over yet, though. <laughs> okay, I have an idea. Um, I'm just going to skip all this, because it's not worth it. over there. Probably don't want to find out. Oh, come on. Bounced, got bounced right into that. No! Come on! Blind jump sucks. Seriously. Okay, well, hold on, guys. Okay, I made it back here. I did unfortunately get a game over because I kept jumping in a stupid pit at the very beginning of that checkpoint. But uh, I did get back here at the very least, and I'm in a better health situation. So we should be able to make it to the rest of this. Okay, let's do this. God, that thing got me again. God. It's bouncy, bouncy balls. I don't approve. There we go. Oh, shoot. No. get that? Probably not. Oh yeah, there's the boss door, so yeah, we were about done. Okay. As usual, we're going to see the first general pattern of this boss, and then we'll do the weakness afterwards. From what I remember, though, um, Impact Man really wrecks this guy.
Oh, damn. Yeah, honestly, it doesn't seem like he's that bad, if I'm being honest. So let's go ahead and use the weakness. Hopefully we can save that E-Tank as well. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I could see that being another like good first choice for a boss, if I'm being honest. Don't think he's really that hard. Just gotta be careful of his bouncing and then moving when he tries to ground pound you. But yeah, I didn't even have to use the uh, power mode for that either. Okay, so here we have the bounce ball. So when you shoot it, you shoot three bouncing balls. If you do the power mode, you have more. That's really about it. You can also angle the shots a little bit too, which is kind of nice. So yeah, that's basically... Honestly, this is another weapon that I could see being really, like, really helpful, like for just normal stage clearing. If there's like enemies that are at very weird uh, um, altitudes and whatever, so that's nice. Mm. Doctor, is something wrong? The double gear system. It was so very long ago. It was on that day. Wiley and I had our falling out. He quite literally threw a wrench in our gears. We were students then, each pursuing robotics research in our own way. Each of us was passionate about forging the way ahead. To a future where humans and robots might live together in harmony. By giving robots independent thought, they can be true partners to humankind at last! Naive as always. Even robots that think for themselves will never be anything more than tools. But with unstoppable power, insurmountable speed, it's only when we build robots with the power to outdo humans that people will truly accept robots for what they are. And with my double gear system, we can make that dream a reality. With this installed, any robot can instantly become a hero. However, I was strongly opposed to Wiley's ideas and research. The double gear system, it puts an incredible strain on the robots that use it. And if it fell into the wrong hands, it could be used to cause terrible harm. At the time, a committee was convened, and Wiley's research was cancelled. In favor of my independent thought research. Wiley never forgave me, and his views have grown ever more extreme since then. How ironic that my efforts to quench Wiley's hot-headedness before it led him astray only ended up fueling the fire. Doctor, I never knew. If only I'd shown him there was a way to work together instead of just telling him that he was wrong. Maybe we'd still be friends. A way to work together. Even the double gear system can be a tool for good, if used properly. But using it properly requires proper judgment. Wiley's dream of developing technology to make any robot into a hero could become reality if used by you. I'm trusting you, Mega Man. Oh, I almost forgot something very important. 
I've just finished giving Rush a good tune-up. He's all ready to head out with you. Rush! Rush, help Mega Man and keep him safe. Be a good boy now. We've got this, Rush. Okay, let's go. So yes, looks like we have the Rush Jet, which uh, I guess we'll go ahead and view this explanation. Oh, I don't have the... Here. Oh. I kind of wanted to use it, but I guess I don't have a button for Rush Jet. Uh, let me actually... One thing I can do is I can actually set a control for Rush Jet. Let's try pressing on the, uh... No. I don't know where to actually put this. I'm trying to put it on, like, the right stick, because that would actually be a good button to customize for it, but... I guess I can't really do that. Well, I guess I don't need a slide button, I suppose. Because you can do it normally. But yeah, Rush Jet is, uh, Rush Jet's a thing we can use now. Okay. Well, uh, we'll, we'll show it. We'll show it in the next stage. But I think I'm actually going to go ahead and stop here because, um, I think I am over 20 minutes now. And, um, you know, I don't want to have, like, another stage take a such a long time, and I think the next stage is actually pretty difficult, if I remember correctly. Actually, maybe it's not. I might be thinking of Torch Man. Next, we're gonna do Fuse Man, but, uh... Yeah, I think we're just gonna stop here. Maybe I'll do two next time, if, like, we get through Fuse Man's fast enough. But, uh, we also had that little cutscene, too, and everything. So, I'm just gonna stop in the shop really quick, see if there's anything we can, uh, purchase... I mean, there definitely are things we can purchase, but any new thing... Oh, we have something new right here. Lessons the amount of your pushback when you take damage. That sounds like a good thing to get. So definitely going to use that. Don't look like we got anything else, though. I definitely want to start getting the E-Tanks at some point, but, um... I don't know if I'm quite ready for them yet. Because again, they are a hundred. I wish they weren't a hundred, but it is what it is. Okay, I'm just going to save here. Um, so yeah, this has been Slim Kirby. This has been Mega Man 11. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Later, folks.